Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today, we will be exploring the process of creating a front-end form submission by using BricksForge to create the form and the ACPT plugin for the custom post type. We have five testimonials already in our page as you can see. Now let's add a new one by clicking Submit Testimonial button. This is the front-end form that we will be using, which includes five different fields for us to fill out accordingly. Once all the fields of the form have been filled out, we can click on the Submit button, and we will receive a submission success message. This message will confirm that our post has been successfully submitted. Now, if we navigate to the dashboard and check the testimonial post type, we will be able to see our newly submitted post. By utilizing the custom post type functionality of the ACPT plugin, our post has been accurately categorized and is now easy to find and manage. As we have saved our post as a draft, we can now proceed to publish it. Once our post is published, we can quickly check its status and confirm that it is now marked as published. This ensures that our post is now available for the intended audience to view. To ensure that our post is indeed visible on the front end, we can navigate to the website and check if the post is rendered correctly. As you can see, our testimonial post, complete with all the fields we filled out, is now rendered correctly on the front end. To achieve our goal of creating a seamless front-end form submission process that renders our post correctly on the front end, we need to use the ACPT plugin to create a custom post type. This custom post type, called testimonial, will help us categorize our post accurately and make it easier to manage. When creating our custom post type using ACPT plugin, we will need to assign specific labels to our post type to ensure that it is accurately categorized. We will fill in the post name as testimonial, which will be the identifier for our custom post type throughout the dashboard. For the singular label, we will use testimonial to ensure that it is clear what type of post our custom post type refers to. Similarly, for the plural label, we will use testimonials. We will only need to use these two native fields for now. The post title and the editor fields. The post title field will use to differentiate the testimonials so we will use to insert the customer's name, while the editor field will be used to input the testimonial message. We need to make sure that certain settings are enabled, to ensure that our custom post type and custom fields are functioning correctly. By default, these settings are already turned on, so we can leave them as is and not make any changes. Set your menu position to any value. For this tutorial I set mine 44. Click on the save button and wait for the page to reload automatically. Once the page reloads, we can find our newly created custom post type on the left menu panel. This feature allows us to access our custom post type easily, making it simple to manage our content in an efficient and organized way. Now, if we click on Add Testimonial, we will notice that only the native WordPress title and editor fields are visible. In order to create the other required fields, we need to create custom fields and assign them to our testimonial custom post. The creation of these custom fields can be easily achieved with the help of the ACPT plugin, which provides us with an intuitive interface to create and manage our custom fields. As you can see, we already have our custom posts set up, but we still need to create custom fields to capture more detailed and specific information. To do this, we can click on Create to create the associated meta boxes for our custom post. For the first time, we may notice a message that indicates that there are no associated meta boxes available for our custom post type. To create a new meta box, we can simply click on the Add Meta Box button. Then, we will give our Meta Box group a title and call Testimonial underscore fields and click Save. Now, we can create our custom fields. For the field slug, we write client underscore name and the field type, we will leave it as text. For the advanced tab, we write client name in the field label. You can change this according your requirement. 
then we will add the other fields, and make sure each field slug, field type and field label are set to accordingly. We have created all the necessary fields, so we click save. Meantime, we need to ensure that these fields are properly rendered in our testimonial custom post. Now if we check again we can see that all the created fields are showing here. Now that our custom fields are functioning correctly, we can begin populating our testimonials based on these fields. Here we have, the four testimonials that we just created to populate in our newly created custom field. Our next objective is to proceed to the testimonial page and use Brick's dynamic data to fetch all these fields and populate them. Utilizing the native elements provided by Bricks, I have already created a minimalist layout for our testimonial cards. Except start ratings, which we will be using Bricks extra element, for our star rating, since this star rating supports getting the rating from dynamic data, the query loop will be just like the normal query process, and we query our testimonial post. The process of retrieving testimonial custom field data has been successfully completed. As a result, all four testimonials that were created earlier are now prominently displayed on the front end of our website. Next, we will proceed to the pages and edit our submit testimonial page. Our objective is to design a user-friendly form that will be displayed on the front end, allowing clients to easily submit their testimonials. We will be using BricksForge Pro Form Element to get the functionality that we need.
In this step, we will create the fields that we need for our testimonial form such as, client name, job title, company name, testimonial message and the rating. Same as the fields we created for our custom post type. Let's change the send button to submit your testimonial. The action button within the Bricks Forge form provides a wide range of functions and capabilities. In this tutorial, we will choose the create a new post action which aligns with our goal of enabling users to submit their testimonials. In order to align the success message with our form's objective, we will customize the message as well. With this feature, you have the flexibility to determine the status of the post after submission. For our tutorial, we want it to be saved as draft after the form is submitted. Post type allows you to specify the type of post you want to create. To proceed, it is crucial to obtain the field IDs generated by BricksForge for each field we have created. These unique field IDs serve as identifiers for our fields and allow us to effectively reference and utilize them throughout the form building process. Please copy and store these field IDs in a text editor or another location. These IDs will be necessary for referencing and connecting the form fields with the corresponding Metabox group and Meta fields. I have created a list of ProForm field names and their corresponding IDs for the custom fields we have created. So I can easily identify and assign to their respective fields. The fields for the post title and post content are already provided, so we only need to fill in the form ID. However, for the remaining custom fields, we will need to manually add them. After saving our modifications, we navigate back to the dashboard and the front-end testimonial page to make sure the total count of testimonials in our system. As observed, we currently have a total of four testimonials displayed. And now let's see if the front-end form is working and let us submit a new testimonial.
Now, if we navigate to the dashboard and check the testimonial post type, we will be able to see our newly submitted post. By utilizing the custom post type functionality of the ACPT plugin, our post has been accurately categorized and is now easy to find and manage. As we have saved our post as a draft, we can now proceed to publish it. Once our post is published, we can quickly check its status and confirm that it is now marked as published. This ensures that our post is now available for the intended audience to view. That is it. We successfully create a seamless and effective post submission process, where our custom post type and custom fields are functioning correctly. Thank you for watching. See you till next time.